How to write a program for constructor overloading in C++. Hello everyone, I'm Sukanya from Goedu Hub Technologies and in this video we are going to discuss about a program for constructor overloading in C++. In C++ we can use more than one constructor in a program as long as number and type just like function overloading. That means this concept is known as constructor overloading as long as the number and the type are same. That is, we can use one and more constructor in a program as long as there are just like the same number and the type as there is in function overloading. For referring to function overloading, you can refer to the tutorial link is mentioned over there. Now following are some points to remember while implementing constructor overloading. Overloaded constructor essentially have same name that is the name of the class and different number of arguments. A constructor is called depending upon the number and the type of arguments passed. While creating the object argument must be passed to let compiler know which constructor needs to be called. So here you can see that there is a program and class created is calculate area and it is public as specified and having a variable area. Now calculate area here is having a first parameter is int a and in C out the area of square is calculated that is a into a. Similarly another constructor is called here with same name to the class and the parameters here are int a and int b and it is calculating the area of particular rectangle. So in the void main function with a particular constructor is called that create area of x firstly and the area we have mentioned we have passed the parameter to int a as 4 and y we have passed for the rectangle then the values are 2 and 3 so it will return us the area of square and the area of rectangle. So here you can see that the same name of constructor calculate area is used twice with different parameters for the calculation of different shapes of an area that is square and rectangle. So let us first execute this program and see what output it comes and how this particular calculate area function operate on both the arguments. Here you have seen that while creating the objects argument must be passed to let the compiler know that which constructor needs to be called. So firstly when we are passing only one argument then it is calling this particular calculate area with having only one argument and when we are passing the values for y 2 and 3 then it is calculating the area of rectangle. So let us execute the program and then see that how the output comes. So here you can see that I have written the program which I have mentioned also in tutorial that the class is created calculate area and it is having as specifier as public. So the functions can be assessed outside the class also and here is a firstly constructed call with same name of the class that is calculate area and the parameter is only one int a and when this constructor is called it will calculate the area of square. Similarly, another constructor is also made with the same name calculate area. Now the constructor is overloaded. That is the name is same, but the parameters are different. So the different parameters are int a and b here and which will calculate the area of rectangle. And while I'm calling the calculate area, firstly, I'm calling for x. So it is for having value 4. So that means constructor along with argument is called so that the compiler know that which constructor to be called at this particular calling of function or the constructor. So it will calculate or return me the area of square which is 4 into 4, 16. Similarly, when I calculate and pass the parameters for both parameters that is parameter 1 and 2 in A and in B, so it will refer to the area of rectangle constructor which is calculate area and it will return me A into B of these two values so that is 6. So when I run this program, you can see here that area of square is 16 and the area of rectangle is 6. So this is how constructor overloading works that means the constructor having same name of the class but different parameters are used and how they can be implemented with the help of the programs. For more programs of object oriented programming we will look into upcoming videos. Thank you.